Kilo, Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo, Victor, KC9, VKV in the Friday afternoon. My group, Aircheck, uh, QSO Vlog, if you have uh, a radio, you want to check the audio, uh, give us a shout. We are recording, and uh, we'll post it up on YouTube, and you can drop by and uh, take a look and uh, and listen. Uh, KC9, VKV. November 4, uh, station, come back with your call sign again. November 4, Papa Juliet Lima. Oh, roger, roger. Our name here is Jim, Juliet uh, India Mike, and uh, we're uh, doing our QSO Vlog program for Friday afternoon, and uh, we are recording. Uh, and if you have, uh, well, you, you're here. <laughs> Greetings. Papa Echo Tango Echo. I've got a, uh, uh, I've, I've checked them a few once before with my old rig. Now I've got a new rig. This is the recently got an Icon W610. And uh, I'm to get it set up uh, with any uh, additional info you might pass along as to uh, how it sounds. Over. Oh, well, the uh, 7610 is the one after the 7300. Is that a Roger? Uh, roger, Roger. Yeah, I had a 7300, which I absolutely loved, and actually set it up to do. Uh, Roger, Roger. Well, you know, those two radios uh, come pretty well <laughs> ready to go out of the box. I mean, those guys uh, did their homework on those two radios. Um, and uh, so when you open it up and uh, plug it in, uh, you're doing real well. They've, uh, you know, got things uh, pretty much... Uh, uh, set for those uh, hand mics. Now, if you change mics, you know, we might have a different story, Roger. I see an icon microphone on here. It's, uh, well, I forget the model number. <laughs> it's the, uh, the one that's typically for the ICOM unit. Uh, I'll get the model number for you here in a minute, but it is a, it's a boom sounding mic, uh, and that's really why I thought I'd step this one up with that. Roger, Roger. Well, the, the first thing to do would be to uh, check your, um, your ALC reading. Uh, I guess you have uh, lights for your ALC on that radio? Well, I actually have an, an ALC uh, meter I'm looking at right now, and I'm pulling about half scale on it right now, and I don't have the uh, compressor turned on at all. Roger, Roger. Well, you're, uh, you're doing real well. I, it's not, I mean, usually the best operation for that radio is usually about a, a 3 dB dynamic range, and you're, you're close there. I would uh, check out maybe a 3 out of 10 on the compressor and see what it sounds like if you've got the opportunity. Um, I'd uh, love to hear it. Uh, a 3 out of 10 on the uh, compressor and see where your uh, dynamic range goes. Okay, I have the uh, compressor. Let's see, I have it on the uh, the uh, the mid uh, the mid range uh, as far as the audio frequency is on. It's on mid instead of uh, wide or narrow. It's on the mid range, and I've got it at let it uh, set at level three right now. Over. All right, and let's uh, talk for a little bit. Uh, what's the the best thing about that radio you found so far? Oh boy, it's hard to tell where to start. Uh, <laughs> It, uh, well, I, of course, I love the uh, 7300, which I had for about a year, uh, right after it came out, and really enjoyed that. But uh, when uh, when the 7610 came along, and they had a really good deal on it uh, during the uh, during the fall season here, I decided I'd go ahead and, and bite the bullet and, and put this one in and, and trade the other one in, which was a, a good deal at the time. So uh, I love uh, I love all the features. I uh, I think the uh, the SDR uh, configuration is a, a, a winner for me. I had a, a, an Allocraft KX3 for a while and really enjoyed that. Uh, so I've been using software to find radios for a little bit and really find this one to be uh, uh, very uh, very much along the lines of everything I need. Wish it had a little more power, but that I can always add some power later on. Over. Uh, Roger that. Now, you know, um, I'm uh, just curious if you found uh, a little item on that radio. On the 7610, you have a little item called uh, a Drive. Have you found Drive? I, I have found it, but I don't think I've played with it at all. 
Well, drive. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know how to put this, but uh, drive can make a bunch of difference. Um, if you go to drive and uh, bring it up about halfway, I, I would love to see that. Roger? Okay, I have drive being set right now at 50%. Over. Oh, you have drive in now? Uh, well, it says drive being set at 50%. Let's see if I can figure that out. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor in the uh, Cuso Vlog program for this afternoon. And, and incidentally, the session is called My Group Air Check. My Group Air Check, dated 11-23-18. My Group Air Check, uh, dated 11-23-18. If you uh, go to YouTube, that's the uh, session you'll be looking for. Turned on and it's set at 50% right now. All right, to run it up there to about 75%. Okay, I now have it at 75%. Over. Okay, what's that? What that is doing is really just closing your dynamic range down. I mean, uh, you know, the the less dynamic range, the more uh, full uh, body the modulation is. Uh, you know, you start with unmod un processed audio, which is like, you know, the, the meter, view meter is just flopping around with every uh, every word you say will be flopping around. You know, so as you um, Bring up that drive. You're actually you're fattening the audio, and and until uh, you get to the point, uh, I've seen one, <laughs> where a demonstration of that where it was a one dB dynamic range, and that is as the guy was speaking, my uh, VU meter tied to the output of my radio was going uh, up to zero level, which is uh, set right at the beginning of the red scale, and, and then to a minus one, which is the next increment down, and it just sat there and rocked between zero and one uh, zero and minus one which is just a, it's like that's like uh, am broadcasting a piece of music you know i still have the compressor turned on in the mid scale range the uh, as far as frequency response goes um there's, there's there are three different settings for the compressor on here one is wide one is mid and the other is narrow and of course it just changes the uh, the overall frequency response so right now I have it in the mid-range, over. All right, uh, okay, then I open it up to, uh, what's the uh, options? Uh, well, let's see, I don't, uh, I don't have the numbers in front of me here, but let me open it up to the wide range for a second. Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to go to the wide range for a this is uh, KC9VKV and the uh, Friday afternoon Kiso Vlog program. Uh, got a little QRM up or down uh, on either one side or the other. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, uh, we're going to be here for a while, so uh, you know, <laughs> there you have options. This is KC9VKV. Go ahead, Pete. Now, this is N4PJL, and uh, you are, by the way, you're plus 20 TV here at my end today. Um, okay, now I have it on the uh, the compressor is turned on, but it's in the wide frequency response mode. Over. Okay, now uh, bring it to narrow. I want to hear a difference, Roger. Okay, now I'm in the narrow mode, and it should be uh, very noticeable. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> go back to wide. <laughs> okay, here's wide. Uh, just for comparison, I'll give you. Uh, your, uh, all right, now we are on, uh, whoops, wait a minute. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog program. If you have a radio that you want to check out the audio, give us a shout. We are recording, and then uh, we, uh, within the next couple of days, uh, post it up on YouTube. And you go to YouTube and uh, do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. And that'll take you to our QSOV like page. And on that page, you'll find a session that's uh, titled My Group Air Check 112318. 
which is today's date, coincidentally. Uh, and you will say, my group, air check, 11-23-18. That is us today, right now. Go ahead, Pete. Okay, this is N4PJO. Okay, I can step through it easily. I'm on the, the uh, compressor's on the wide mode right now. All right, I threw it now to the mid-range, and now I'm going narrow, and I'll take it back to wide. Okay, now we're back to wide. Uh, did you happen to pull off mic at the, uh, the last of that transmission? I don't think so. Uh, I don't believe I did. All right, it was conditions. Well, anyway, so it's all, you know, your mid, uh, you know, uh, wide and narrow. It's it's the same game on on all that stuff, you know. My point is that uh, when you start narrowing it down to a mid-range signal, I don't care whether it's uh, in compression or, or uh, you know, whatever, you're restricting the top end, and the top end is vital for um, articulation. Even in a, in a DX uh, or a, a contest situation, the top end is just vital for uh, uh, articulation to be able to understand what's being said. So, you know, uh, people think, well, I'll just uh, get narrow band and I'll cut on through. Well, yeah, you do. But you'll, <laughs> you'll cut better if you leave the top end where it is and just roll some of the bottom. Do not, do not sacrifice your top end uh, equalization uh, because you, you will be uh, uh, placing yourself in a situation that is uh, uh, disadvantageous and marginal uh, situation trying to understand uh, your signal. Roger. The, uh, by the way, the microphone is a Heil ICM, it's a model ICM, and it's uh, specifically made for ICOMs, and uh, it, it's a very hot mic uh, in order to use it with some of the older ICOM rigs, which had apparently uh, low audio on the input side. So I've got the audio rather uh, cut back rather dramatically on this rig because, of course, it doesn't have that problem. But uh, um, if, if it sounds good on your end, it looks good here on the ALC. And I'll just leave it in the... Uh, just have it turned on in the wide mode. So it's Roger, Roger, Pete. Yeah, that's what you want, the, the wide mode. And uh, that microphone sounds sounds beautiful, and you have uh, reduced your um, uh, dynamic range to about uh, three and a half dB. Um, if um, you know, uh, if you get in a situation where you were uh, DXing or contesting or whatever, and you wanted uh, more punch, I would just bring up the uh, compressor to about a seven. Uh, let's uh, let can we hear about a seven on that compressor? Okay, this is N4PJL. I just brought the compressor up to level 7. How's that sound, Or? Uh, it just gets fatter. <laughs> it just gets fatter. And there is no downside to it. There is no distortion. There is not even um, the obvious uh, signals of uh, compression. The signal just gets fatter, Roger. Okay, very good. Well, and also, I've, I've left my drive up at 75, and I guess uh, your recommendation is just to leave it there and over? Uh, well, I, I would, unless somebody says, hey, you're too loud. <laughs> and I would say, jealous? <laughs> you're, you're about a 3 dB dynamic range now, so uh, you've, got it, you've got it going on, you know. I, obviously, you could back off, but... But why? I mean, it's just, it sounds natural, sounds good. Uh, uh, what, uh, what is your power output on that radio? All right, I'm running 100 watts right now, just barefoot, and I'm using a, uh, an in-fed uh, half-wave uh, antenna up about 30 feet in the air. Roger. Well, you're doing about, uh, about a 10 dB over my noise range, or my noise level. Uh, it comes and goes, but uh, 10 dB is a, was your last transmission, and uh, your dynamic range is about 3 dB. So uh, I would say uh, that's, uh, that's a nice, nice signal. And the EQ is uh, uh, nice. Uh, what would be uh, the capabilities of, uh, where, what's your top end EQ now? Nine. Stand by, sir. Frequencies in use. Uh, your signal's uh, down at the moment. I can't really give you a um, an opinion. Uh, need a little more signal. Mother Nature, come on. 
Okay, well, it may have been because I switched to the vertical, <laughs> which I don't think works quite so well on this frequency. Let me uh, take a look at my uh, my equalizer. Hang on just a sec. N4 PJL. Roger, Roger, Pete. And there was another station in there. Other station. Uh, this is KC9 VKV. Go ahead. If there was another station uh, with comment, uh, go ahead. Nothing heard. This is KC9 VKV in the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog program uh, where we uh, do uh, constant recording from 3.30 till 5. And uh, if you have a radio that you want to check out uh, and listen to, we are recording and we will post it up on YouTube in the next couple of days. And so you can go there and uh, uh, find our QSO, you do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and then uh, that will take you to our QSO VLOG page. We have about 320 some odd uh, QSOs at the point, at this point, but there's one uh, we'll be entitled My Group Air Check 112318, and that's uh, today, and uh, that's right now. So uh, go ahead, Pete. N4 PJL. Okay, my, uh, my wideband. Uh Audio is at 100 to 2900. My narrow, my mid range is 300 to 2700, and the narrow band is 500 to 2500. And right now I've got my mic uh, set with minus one on the bass and plus one on treble. Over. Okay, you're you're, you're in the wide band and uh, uh, run those EQ levels past me again. Okay, the wide band. I think that's the mode I'm in right. I don't have that screen up, but the wideband mode is at set at 100 to 2900 kilohertz. Uh, 100 hertz to 2900 hertz, rather. Uh, Mid-range is 300 to 2700, and narrowband is 500 to 2500. And right now I have my mic set at minus one on bass and plus one on treble. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, I uh, I wouldn't know any other uh, band but wide. I mean, <laughs> I can't imagine wanting to uh, do anything else but but wide band. I mean, you know. Uh, uh, and uh, so that being said, there you go. Uh, in wide band, uh, just out of curiosity, if you went to a plus five on the top end, left everything mid range flat, uh, bottom end wherever it is, and just uh, moved the uh, top end up to. Uh, I guess you got a one out of 10. So if you got a 1 out of 10, if you moved it to 5, I'd just be curious in hearing it. Okay, you want me to take on the wideband mode, take my top end up the, uh, uh, are you talking about on the microphone or on the, uh, the bandwidth, on the transmission bandwidth? Well, bandwidth, uh, transmission bandwidth will be in the wide mode, and we're talking about mic EQ, plus 5 top end EQ. Okay, I have my top end on uh, plus five right now. That's as far as it goes. Over. Oh, uh, Roger, it's just a one to five. Um, well, it's minus five to plus five, and I'm on plus five. Roger, we'll come back to about uh, plus plus. Uh, where was it before? It was at plus one originally. Roger, take it to plus two. Okay, it's at plus two right now, and there's minus one on the base. Over. Uh, I, yeah, I, I like I like the the five myself, but uh, y you know the, the top end will give you articulation and intelligibility. You know the difference is uh, let me let me demonstrate what happens uh, when you lose the top end. I'm losing the top end now because I got three fingers in front of the microphone, so my syllabic range is greatly reduced uh, as opposed to being up in the mic. Roger, Roger. I do have uh, the uh, pop filter on the top of the microphone here, so that may reduce my uh, top end just a slight bit. But I've got it set at, at uh, plus five right now, which is the top end. Roger, Roger. Well, uh, you, you're there, buddy. Uh, and that uh, that windscreen is that a, that a foam windscreen? Uh, Roger, it's the it's the uh, Kyle windscreen that comes with the mic. Roger, not yeah. I doubt that's attenuating anything. Uh, 
not not much if if anything barely so i, I would obviously uh, uh the the good outweighs the bad with that so i would keep that on and with that uh, it allows you to work tighter mic if you want to like to improve your basic signal to noise ratio voice to sounds chickens ducks wives children <laughs> the tighter you work might the less uh, uh, noise that you're going to get blowers stuff like that in when you start um, you know uh, compressing and getting a fatter audio signal you have to be concerned with uh, background noises which are then uh, pulled up also you know so I, I work uh, right on top of you know I, if you've seen my video you know I, I'm right on top of the mic and uh, my windscreen is just a beautiful device that uh, allows me to do that and uh, I don't have uh, you know any I don't have any problem e anyway with the resi you know any kind of uh, background noise or, or whatever it's just a, a force of habit but I think the thing that it allows you to do is uh, come up with a very consistent uh, modulation. You're not uh, in and out, plus or minus, like off mic, in mic, halfway there, or whatever. You are, you are constantly at the point that you want to be. Roger. Uh, Roger. N4PJL. Just let me turn the compressor off for a second here, even though I'm in the wide mode. Okay, I got the compressor turned off now, and does it still sound pretty good? It does, but I can tell a difference in the body of your signal. Uh, it, it it got a, a lot thinner. I, w a good demonstration would be if you uh, counted to uh, be 10, and at 5, uh, if you could just put the compressor in, uh, you know, like you're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then at 6, you, you put the compressor in, uh, and just to see in a... Um, uh, uh, environment like that, the the A B difference between uh, with and without. Okay, I'll do a count. The uh, compressor's turned off right now, and it's one, two, three, four, five. Compressor on six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Over. Roger, Roger. Uh, yeah, it, it makes a difference, and you can, you know, when you listen back uh, on uh, YouTube, you'll be able to to hear that difference, uh, Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, I really appreciate your help, and it sounds like uh, you got me set pretty much where I need to be at the moment. Over. Roger. I, I uh, that drive is just an amazing thing. Uh, uh, what, what are you doing uh, uh, power-wise right now? Uh, power-wise, 100 watts. Over. All right. Well, when you get uh, an amplifier, when and if, that drive uh, will be your buddy because you can just uh, uh, use that drive to uh, do exactly what you want with the with the box. Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, it said it. Uh, you took me up from 50% to 75%, and that's where I've got it right now. Roger, Roger. Well, I think I think it's a great signal. It's, it's punchy, uh, you know. Now, if you, you you're going to run across a purist that says, "Hey, you know, gosh, uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, flat." <laughs> I'm I'm flat <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, I'm non-processed and uh, and that's true and you've got you know this person has got uh, 1200 watts or 1500 watts and but even that person can get into marginal situations and in marginal situations uh, you want uh, you know you want everything going for you that you can Roger Roger, Roger. Okay, well, I'll leave it set at 75 for now, and uh, and uh, thank you very much for all your help today. It's been great. Over. Roger, Roger. Thank you, sir. I uh, appreciate your dropping by, and then, like I say, if you uh, uh, will be posting this in the next couple of days up on YouTube. Roger, Roger. KC9 VKV from N4PJL73. Have a great weekend. Roger, Roger, and uh, <laughs> I, I want your radio. <laughs> I wanted the, the 7300, but I'll take the, that radio uh, uh, also. <laughs> anyway, uh, a great a great choice. You, you're going to love it. This is the KC9 VKV and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog program. If you have a radio you want to check out the modulation, uh, hear it. Uh, if you give me a call, uh, we are uh, rolling in record and uh, talk for a little bit. And uh, then uh, you'll be able to go to YouTube uh, in the next couple of days and do a call letter search of Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor and that'll take you to our QSO Vlog page and on that page there will be one session called My Group Air Check 
uh, dated 11 23 18. This is KC9BKV.